Is nature actually wild or did you make that up? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Q&A with me, your favorite, the lion, Axel Weindins from your favorite band, Cock Motherfucker, aka KMF. And it's a new year, new opportunities, a new Q&A. Welcome. What was your childhood dream? One of them was to build a big raft uh, inspired by the Contiki movie. I really wanted to, yeah, to, to go on an adventure like the Contiki. How is Alfred doing? Well, Alfred is just here. Come on, hop, hop, hop. As you can see, he's doing great. Anything exciting to tell? Yes, we have a new album coming. We've been working very hard, all of us, and it's gonna be fantastic. These days we are mixing it, and uh, yeah, as you can see on the social media, we're starting to wake up a little bit. I'm doing this Q&A and, you know, getting into the mood, getting into the English all this. Yeah, that's exciting. What's your favorite stage experience? I love being on stage and now it's been a long time since I've been on stage. I cannot put one thing that, uh, as my favorite. But I must say I love it when, um, when the crowd is singing along. When are you coming to Port Portugal? To be honest, Portugal is one of the countries we, we never, in Europe that we've never been to. And a lot of people have asked us, and I would love to go when we're coming, when, whenever we get a chance. If someone invites us. How are you, see sexy <laughs> I was talking with a piano tuner here, and he was also very good looking. And uh, we had a theory that when you work a lot with music and with frequencies, it keeps you hotter and more sexy. So, thank you for the question. Is nature actually wild or did you make that up? <laughs> well, a uh, good question. Uh, it depends on the day. Some days nature can be very calm. Some days nature is very wild. I was very wild last summer. I can tell you that. Now it's been some times since I've been wild. And I did not make that up, no. I did not make that up. The, the, the story behind Wild Nature, my nickname Wild Nature, is because I was playing actually Lul. And uh, in Lul I was called Nature. I played where my style is wild. So that's why people in League of Legends started to call me Wild Nature. When I came with my character Warwick and slaughtered in a wild style. So you also produce, record music with other bands? Not so much, no. I don't, I've never done that for the band. I guess I am a pretty good producer because I produce a lot of cock, so I know. So if you are a band out there and you want The Lion to produce your album, just uh, get in contact. Sorry about my English. I haven't been talking English in a while, so yeah. A lot of Norwegian here in Norway. Would you make porn for your fans? <laughs> it depends on the woman and the money. How much do you love Mexico? Because Mexico loves you. I love Mexico a lot. And I know all the other guys, we love Mexico a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Can't wait to come back. Have been missing Mexico. Do you know the meaning of untas? Yes, I do. I do know the meaning of that. Uh, because... When it was trendy, one day I woke up with a lot of messages of untas in my phone. It made me inspired to suggest that our EP from Cock Motherfucker should be called Untas. And that's why it's called Untas. Fab cover art on any album. Ooh, I like a lot Sgt. Pepper Lonely Heart Club Band album cover art, actually. Filled with gravy. And that I like. What happened to your Facebook account? Well, terrible disaster for us in our band. Facebook, uh, our Facebook page, spent years, hours to build it and uh, to gain a lot of followers there and, uh, and uh, then we got hacked and I'm still hacked on Facebook. I can't get my, my profile back. I can't get the Cock Motherfucker page back. We've been trying everything, contacting Facebook, Google, whatever. No one can help us. So if someone can help us, 
we will appreciate it. What makes you happier, music or painting? For me, it's the combination. It's the combination between have, uh, painting and, and music. When I painted too much, I get tired of that. I really love to jump in to make a song or produce a song. When I've done that too much, it's so nice to just paint a painting. If you could back in time and not name Cock Motherfucker, would you? Uh, no. I think Cock Motherfucker is a great band name. Of course, it has its ups and downs. A lot of people may, may get offended. That's just about life. We do have this great thing with our name that we, we, we get a lot of intelligent fans. And I think that's because of the name. So thank you to every one of you for being intelligent and understanding that uh, words or names aren't hurtful in themselves. It's how you use the words or the names that determines if they are good or bad, you know. A word in itself is just like a color, it isn't bad or word or good in itself. So it's something to think about in these political times. Some hair care tips. Yes, my tips is to listen to a lot of music, to eat a lot of fat in your diet and to not wash it too often but use a, like a brush every day, every morning and every evening. What's the better feeling, pee or poop? I think it has to be poop. But it depends, again, you know? If you really have to piss, it's... I would say piss. Do you hate Scotland? When are you coming? To be honest, I have never been to Scotland and um, would love to come. Because I know the humour in Scotland is very close to what I love. Uh, I can recommend you to just Google Scottish tweets, funny tweets. There's uh, so many funny Scottish tweets and I think the humour in Scotland is one of the best in the world. At what age did you start learning the guitar? I learned very early the guitar or started to learn it. I still don't know it 100% when I was only four years. So I can recommend that. If you're old and want to learn guitar, still no problem. Just check out uh, Black Mamba. Uh, playing by the fire, where he learns you a lot of cool Cock Motherfucker songs. Thank you very much for watching this Q&A with me, your favorite, The Lion. I love everybody and uh, thank you for, uh, for caring. That's, you know, after all these years, that's what makes uh, us happy in the heart.